Couch, dog, me, palaces. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle blues lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll explore different blues endings, different ending chords for the blues. Um, pleasant chords, less pleasant chords, interesting chords. Um, let's stay in the key of E, right? E7, A7, and B7. Now, when you want to end, after you've repeated the 12-bar blues or the 8-bar blues, or any variation on those two uh, for who knows how many minutes, um, you want to end. And ending on the E7 okay, is a viable option, but you hear those blues players do really interesting chords and you want to know what they are. So I'll tell you what they are right away and then we'll explore the options. They're usually ninth chords or sharp nine chords. Sometimes they're augmented chords, and sometimes you add a sixth to it, okay? But most of the time, it's a ninth. Okay, so... Okay, or... And this B7 wants to lead you back to E7, okay? Which kind of resolves the whole thing, but because it's a seventh chord, you still feel the tension. So the ninth kind of soothes the tension, it's like an ointment on a wound, okay? It's a burning wound and you want to put an ointment on it and the ninth is that ointment. Strange metaphor, I know, or simile, because it's like an ointment, um, but bear with me here. Um, first of all, you don't have to end on the E7, you can end on the B7, okay? But you want to add a 9, so you have the B7 shape and and for the 9, you just play 2 on the 2nd string, so this is the B9. It's a 7-9, okay? You don't just have B and the 9, you also have the 7th note, so it's a jazzy or bluesy kind of 9. So you, uh, you can take this and take a chromatic approach and play C9 to B9, okay? And this is one of the options for an ending. Okay, let's say we're ending, so... Okay, see? It's a tension kind of ending. It still has a lot of tension in it, but that 9 soothes the tension. If you want to end on E9, you go to okay, you go to E9 and you have E on 7, right? Okay, bar on 7, A shape or A7 shape for E7. So that's where you do the 9. Okay, it's the same shape okay, as B9, just on 7. So you have 7, 7, 6, 7 on strings 2 to 5. And again, you can do the chromatic approach from F to E, okay, 8, 7, or even 9, 8, 7, okay, or from below, or combine all of it and play 5, 6, 9, 8, 7, okay, but only if you can fit that in, um, it's a little bit exaggerated, but it can work for some player, okay, so you have the 7th, uh, the 9th on 7. Right? Too many sevens, too many nines. Now, you can uh, play another high note here. You can do it like this. Okay? Which is what you see most players do. Okay? Because, again, the high, the high note kind of adds to the soothing. Um, the, the soothing ointment. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting a word here. It'll pop up. So, um, just bar your finger, uh, your third finger on strings 1, 2, and 3, and then add these two fingers. So you have 7, 7, 7, 6, 7. And again, you can do... Or... And that kind of solves the, the whole um, ending equation. Um, 
I know that rhythmically it didn't fit perfectly, but I wanted to give you the sound, okay? Not, uh, not a full-fledged example. Property, by the way, was the word that got away from me, okay? That soothing property of the ointment. Uh, okay, I'm starting to get uh, annoying a little bit, so I'm, I'm, I apologize. Okay? And I'll explain why this works so well. It works so well because it has a fourth in it. Okay, fourth interval, and a fourth always works as a soothing sound, okay, as opposed to where all the um, all the intervals here are dirty intervals, okay, um, with very distinct characteristics, and this has a very pleasant sound, okay, or can do this as well for the B7 ending, ending on the fifth. Now, um, this is the uh, pleasant approach, and you can dirty it up a little bit by playing a sharp nine instead of nine. So if you're on B7, then just take the pinky from two on the second string to three, and then you have the sharp nine, and then you have. And this leaves a tension. Okay? You can do C9 to B sharp 9. And then you have the same note. Okay? So you can either do a B7 ending again or, or an E7 ending. You don't have to do the chromatic thing here. Okay? You can just use one chord. You don't have to do the, the one fret apart thing. You can just do um, right? and on the sharp nine, and it's fine. You don't. It also rhymes. Right? Or the fifth, the B seven. If you want a tensioned ending, if you want a slightly less tensioned ending. Tensioned. I don't know if that's a word. Tense. Slightly uh, less tense ending. Okay, but you can say that tensioned is a musical term. Because musical terms are basically just superimposed on the sound. It doesn't matter how you call it. So that's the sharp nine. Now you can also add a kind of an augmented sound to this if you want to dirty it up even more. And do this by taking seven from the third string to eight. Okay, so you have eight, eight, six, seven, and then that's kind of a, an augmented sort of sound, which surprisingly enough, because music is always relative, it sounds diminished. Okay, it would sound augmented on B, but it sounds diminished on so that's also an ending. So uh, okay. or uh, let's try something. No, that's a little bit too much. But maybe, maybe, maybe you can do something like this. Okay. Okay, that's kind of borderline jazzy. Okay. Uh, if you're playing fingerstyle or playing with a pick just don't play the whole thing and then you can do only if you want to this is an exaggerated example uh, you can do seven eight eight six skip the fifth string and play the sixth string as your bass note so okay and let's try nope the chromatic approach doesn't work here because this kind of implies a major seven sound somewhere in the middle there and that's not blues anymore so uh, and you can do a sixth chord okay, for the jazzy ending okay, also with the B which turns it into a completely amiable chord okay. um, 
just instead of 7767, seven, seven, you have 7667. Seven, seven. So you bar for six and you add two fingers. Okay, you can do it like this, but why? Um, so 7667. Seven, seven. You have. Okay, you have the six and the nine. Okay, that's important. If you only have the six, and it's. Doesn't sound bluesy, but if you have the ninth, it still sounds bluesy. You can do. You can do C. Uh, if you want to do a B7 ending, you can do C6 and then B9. Okay. And then you have the you have the best of both worlds. Not uh, sorry. Work the same way here. The other way around, you can do F9 and E6. But enough scrambling with your mind. Um, try these and I'll see you in the next lesson. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. What are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons already here and I upload a new one regularly. Everything is for free, of course, up for grabs. But if you want to give something back anyway, there's a donation button on the Lick and Riff website or a Patreon link on uh, in the description below uh, and you can pledge whatever you like. I thank you in advance for your generosity and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy. Go blues away.